Kevin, what are you doing? Well, that real nice gentleman in the brown truck was just here, and <laughs> I got a new toy to play with. <laughs> this is Everlast um, Power Arc 160 STH. So it's a power arc, that means it's a stick welder. It's also a TIG welder, but it's got a couple of extra little features here that are actually kind of nice for a little tiny machine like this. So one of the cool little features that this machine has that I don't think you find too often on these little 160s is it's lift start for the TIG or high frequency for the TIG. And that's a good thing. That's a, that's a handy, that's handy right there. Just the rest of the panel, you know, you got your TIG switch, your stick, amperage control, and post flow. And then just the connections for your gas outlet, going to your TIG torch, negative, positive, and your control. So you can hook it up to the torch trigger so you have some kind of control over your torch. On the back of the machine, pretty basic on the back of the machine, just your on off switch, your gas inlet coming from your bottle, and a power cable. And what do you find at the end of the power cable? But a 110 220 adapter. So it's a dual voltage machine, 110 220. 160 amps, you know, I have a max output on 220. Probably, we'll check in a minute, but probably down about 100 amps on 110. The rod holder for your arc welder function, nice 300 amp rated stinger, you know, big, heavy. It's gonna last a long time for this little machine. On the ground clamp to hook to your work, they made a nice change here. They got rid of that braided copper wire that they had connecting the two sides together and they put just a solid strip of copper in there we'll see how long that's going to last but i bet it'll last longer than the copper the, the braided copper does for the tig side nice wp17 torch you no know, medium-sized body not too big not too small little torch trigger already detached right to the top of the torch itself and a nice denim protection sleeve to go on the on the torch cable itself to help protect that. So, nice little unit. And it matches your jeans. And I would expect you to notice that. Thank you. <laughs> Does come in a nice little plastic you know plastic case, easy to carry it around, helps protect the machine, keep it out of the dust and the dirt. Uh, you do get some consumables. A hose to hook up your gas bottle with. Oh yeah, a flow meter to go on your bottle of Argon and some directions. These are fun to read. Have a beer first. Okay, now that I've been yakking, to hell with it. Let's hook this puppy up. Let's make some sparks. So real quick, just to set up here, got some eighth inch cold roll plate steel. Got it out of the bucket. We'll slice it in half with a shear. Just clamp it down. We'll weld it back together using the stick welder. Got some 7018 rod to run through it. And I've got it on 110 instead of 220. And let's just, just for my for my edification here, just to see what the max and min is, maximum and minimum amperage is on 110. <clears throat> so four amps. And I'm sure that that will translate over into the TIG function also. So it should start right about four amps somewhere. Maximum looks like 89, 90 amps on 110 volt. So come on, here we go. So I just want to run this 7018 rod. I'm going to run it at about 75 amps. Let's just stick this together real quick. And see how she does. Let's see what we get. Weld it to the table. 
So let's see how I did. Damn, that must have been practice. <laughs> Looks pretty good on this side. Looks like it actually started coming through on the other side. I actually stuck it to the table in a couple of places, so not bad for a little machine. But we'll have to break out that, that AHP at 160 I got in there. We'll have to have a little shootout and see which one does better. But looking around online, uh, found them down about 350 at the lowest. So Google is your friend. Go out there and check and see what you can find. The Everlast Power Arc 160 STH. Not a bad little machine. So you guys are going to pop out to Facebook for me, Kevin Carone Studios. Come like me out there, follow me on Facebook. Don't forget to look for me on Instagram as well. And I'm going to get out of this and go get a cold drink because it's about 110 in here right now. I'll see you guys next week. What does the H stand for? Well, if I know. <laughs>